Let's cut straight to the case. You've seen photos like this one and you want to try it because it looks cool, it looks awesome and fun, which is true. Let me tell you how to do this. You're going to need a camera or something to take photos with. Your phone will do. I'll make a tutorial about that. If you have a better camera, more megapixels, more information, easier the editing, better the result. You need a stool, a chair, like this one, anything you can stand on, basically. You also need a tripod and it is crucial because your camera cannot move. You'll see why. Obviously you need an idea, without an idea there's nothing to do. So I'm sure you have that already. Okay. Let me give you some tips first. You want to have in mind a few things. One, the light. The shadows that you create, you're gonna have to work with them. So make sure there's no shadows of the thing on you. The thing meaning the thing that you use to stand on. See, if I put it like this, this will create some shadows on me if I stand on this. So I'm going to move it like that. Your clothes. It's better if you can hide somehow the point of contact with you and the thing you're standing on. Less work in editing. I'm thinking of using the other direction. Just, I don't like these buildings behind me. Somewhat like this. It is very, very important that you take one photo at least without the chair or anything in the photo. That's going to be your background. Very important. Without that photo, you cannot do this effect. Again, take a photo without anything. No chair, not you, nothing. Empty photo with the background, that's it. I'm going to try and take a photo vertically. That's why... Okay, now we took the photos. Let's head to Photoshop and edit this thing. Okay, here we are, Photoshop. All right, so what we want to do is put the subject into the other layer, the background layer. Also, there's some people right there that we can erase very easily. So we want the subject right here. We're gonna click and drag, and I'm gonna place it right there. Now readjust. Sweet. Okay, I want to create a layer mask, get the brush tool, and make sure you have it set to color black, fully black. Now it's just a matter of painting over what you don't want in the photo, in that case, the chair. I'm going to speed this up so you don't have to stand here and just watch me do that. Okay, so that is done for the chair. Now there are some sections that need a little bit of readjustment, so create a smart object. Then press liquify from the effects, and now you can give shape again to those parts of the body that might have been a little modified because you were sitting on the stool or the chair, or whatever you were using. Once it is done, press OK, and that's it. Now you can send it to Lightroom, you can edit it as you want, you can put the effects, modify it, do however you feel like, and the photo will be done. And that's it. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. I always like to disappear in the camera like that, it's always fun.